Hey people, here's another update for the BlackBerry Prev. It is Friday, November 11th at 924 p.m. and the battery power up in the top is 84%. I believe this is another update, the monthly update. So this is the November update that showed up within the last week. This is an AT&T version, but I think this is being sent out to everybody. So this is just going to be another boring video of me installing it and we'll track how long it takes. 924, click on the update icon, and there's really not much to say because all it is is a security update and not a full version update or an OS update. So 924, 84%. Make sure you check out my other videos if you want. I've got some cool stuff on guitar playing and chords and toilet repair, and lots of really neat, uh, exciting stuff. If you want to link this to any website, that is good. Um, do a thumbs up, subscribe, like. Oh, wow, that was quick. Took, a, what, maybe a minute? A whole minute to do? So, uh, now we'll click on the bottom over here, install, restart and install. And it takes a few seconds to do that, and then normally it takes about 20 minutes to do the whole uh, checking the modules. I think there's about 43 modules or something. So uh, feel free if you want to to go to my channel page, click on the support button, and leave me a donation if you want. That would be awesome. I will definitely not say no to something like that. This is very quick, really quick. So let me talk for a couple minutes and bore everybody. A few days after the election, lots of anxiety in this country. A lot of protesting out here in Los Angeles and all around the country. A lot of angry people, 52% voted. Or I think they said 53% didn't vote. So it's going to be an interesting four years coming up. So far, most of the main promises have already been uh, backed down. And they're backing out of uh, what they said to win the election. So, it will be an interesting time either way. The market's been doing good. Definitely been doing good. If you did some uh, stock trading or stock sales this week or day trading, you probably did very well. So, after this update, which usually takes just a couple minutes, then you have to put in your password and then it goes through the whole module checking. And uh, since it's not a major OS, there won't be much to say. They're not really talking about what the uh, fixes are. Usually just Google fixes, Google changes for Android and BlackBerry, but not a lot of major stuff. I've had the phone for uh, most of the year. I think most of the year. Used to have a bold 9900 that I loved, that I refused to get rid of. And so I stuck with BlackBerry, and I love it, and I think this phone is incredible, and the only phone I know that seems to get updates every single month, and I get uh, app updates almost daily, which is unbelievable. Considering that the bold 9900, I got updates hardly ever, ever, ever. And most of the people I know that have uh, Android, they hardly ever see updates. They don't get security updates. They don't get uh, OS updates. They don't get anything. So this is going to take a while. You can see this little uh, line over here is just crawling along. And feel free to leave your comments if you want to. The busier my channel is, the better off I do on here. So help me out if you want to. And I'm going to shut up now, press the pause button, and I will come back in a couple minutes when this restarts. Slowly crawling along here. Definitely not moving too well. Spent the last uh, about two months changing my diet, working out, eating better. This morning I was down 16 pounds in about two months, two and a half months. So for anybody out there that's a little overweight, it's actually a lot easier than it uh, 
than people make it out to be because I'm not really stressing out. I eat a lot of salads, a lot of chicken, a lot of white chicken breast. Turkey breast, tuna and salad. I love ice cream, but I cut most of that out. I love pizza, but I don't get it that, that often now. I don't go down to Costco and grab a pizza every other day. I don't eat a gallon of ice cream at a time, or a half gallon. I don't get four Ben and Jerry's in a row and chow those down in a day or two. I stopped eating, uh, stopped buying watermelons and eating them in a few days. So it's all portion control. And um, okay, we're getting along. We're moving along here. Almost done. So if you're a little overweight, believe me, you definitely want to take care of it. When you learn about uh, the body and health pre-diabetes, when you start learning about um, how if you got uh, high blood sugar, or if you're overweight, you definitely have high blood sugar, but you learn that you can turn that stuff around. You can't make it go back, but you can stop it and protect yourself from getting uh, eye problems or numbing of the extremities of your legs and arms or getting amputations or going on the needle or taking pills so definitely worth it to control your weight and drop it and it wasn't that hard to do as i said portion control stop munching all day stopped having junk and only ate what I really needed to to sustain life like you're supposed to and not just to chow down and pig out. So we're moving along almost at the end over here. We're getting there. Woo! What just happened? Okay, we're almost there. So if you got any questions or comments or anything you want to leave about the updates or about uh, losing your weight or controlling your portions or diet or blood sugar, what you're doing that works. Remember, it's not so much the working out. The working out is not going to help you lose the weight as much as it's going to help your body feel better and be stronger. Muscle will definitely help you, but uh, abs are made in the kitchen. All right, time to uh, put in the password. There we go, starting Android. So it's actually really easy to lose weight. And it looks like you're not losing anything. You get to a point where you say, well, I'm doing this and nothing's happening. But what's really happening is you're burning all that visceral fat that's surrounding your heart and your organs and your liver. So it looks like you're losing nothing, but all that fat that uh, is inside you is slowly going away and shrinking. And it shrinks. After a while, you see your sides start to firm up, and then that uh, firm belly starts to turn to a saggy belly as you got all that all the fat underneath is disappearing. And here we go, the module update. This is the part that normally takes forever, especially when you get down to the 40, the last 30 or 40. So again, you start uh, cranking out those... Uh, that visceral fat inside and everything shrinks down and then the sides start to get smaller and that belly stays there and it stays there and then it starts to shrink from the outside towards the belly button and then it stays there and then it shrinks and it shrinks and you keep thinking nothing's happening but if you have a scale that checks out your muscle percentage and your fat percentage and your estimated age and your BMI and your calorie intake, you start to see all those changes. And they are slow, but you don't really do it so you look awesome. You do it so that you don't end up uh, getting old and having somebody pick you up to carry you to the toilet or to move you around the house. So the sooner you take care of it, the better. And let's face it, if we're using Blackberry, we're sitting on our butt texting and tweeting and playing on Facebook maybe people are on Snapchat and Instagram and you sit behind that desk at work or you drive around in your car and you do nothing no exercise no healthy anything so 
this is really moving along very slowly, actually, but this is typical of the updates. So if nothing else, get off your butt and start working out, walking around. Go buy some dumbbells and do some arm curls. Lay on your back and do some bench press with a dumbbell or a couple... Uh, couple blocks of concrete or some cement or bags of peas, can of paint. Do whatever you've got to to get yourself in shape. To start cranking out some muscle, build up some muscle mass, burn down those calories. Stop eating all that junk. It is definitely good, but go on the internet after your uh, done with this thing and do a search on body fat and look what five pounds of body fat looks like. It's nasty. It's huge and it's nasty. Then go find some uh, pictures of CAT scans and x-rays of the body and look at all that white stuff all around the inside that is uh, all fat cells choking out your body. Slowly moving along. I don't even know what time it is. How? What time is it here? Okay, we're 11 minutes into this thing. Yes, yeah, so when you look at that stuff, it's absolutely gross. Probably not what you expected to hear on a OS update for BlackBerry, but it's gross. And if you have family, if you got kids, you probably want to see them as you get older. You don't want to stroke out or have a heart attack. So you spend your whole life working to take care of everybody and to provide for them and then you croak at an early age because you wouldn't take care of yourself. It's not really fair to you, it's not fair to them. So we're moving along here only at 14, oh at 15. I think it's at 15. Okay, it's moving, it's moving along. Quick, quick, quick. So not many people leave comments about the OS updates. Maybe this will motivate somebody. Feel free to get on there and leave some uh, messages about what you're doing to work out or what you're doing to drop your weight or your blood sugar or keep yourself uh, healthy. I put some reviews on there about dumbbells, barbells, weight bench, how to set up a small home gym. To exercise. It's boring, believe me, it's absolutely boring. About a really expensive water rower, rowing machine. 10 15 minutes into it, I'm bored out of my mind, my leg hurts, my knee hurts, because it's annoying. So I get off of that thing and I go over to the bicycle, ride the bike for 10 minutes, get on the weight bench, crank out some weights. It hurts, your neck hurts, your shoulders hurt, your arms hurt, your back hurts. It feels oh so good as you stand on that scale and say, wow, I am a total stud. All right, very slow, very, very slow. And not only that, but like I said, you get to a point in life where you say, I've been busting my butt all along to make this thing work and to survive. Do I really want to croak out way too early in life because I needed to eat that extra piece of pizza? So, yeah, leave your comments if you want. I have a really cool channel mostly because I, I monitor my comments. That way it makes it easy to report abuse or block a person who's annoying or rude. But the good comments, the happy people, Go for it. Leave something good. I think we're at about 15 minutes here. And a little over half done. Probably lost a lot of people here. But I'm not preaching to anybody. It's your life. It's up to you. You do what you want. Alcohol. Massive calories, belly fat, rots your liver, screws with your system. Cut that out, you'll be better off. If 
you're smoking, most people in California don't smoke, but if you're smoking, you really think your lungs were meant to have smoke in them? Want to get down on your knees behind a car and sit by an exhaust pipe and breathe in those fumes? Probably not. So, cut the cigarettes out, take care of yourself. And just a comment, even though I'm not a doctor, if you did smoke, if you smoke now or if you did smoke, go to your doctor and tell them you want a CAT scan of your lungs. The reason I say that is no doctor will ever tell you to do that until it's too late. But a CAT scan of the lungs can detect lung cancer way, way, way before you will ever know that you have it or way before a doctor will know. So if you used to smoke a long time ago, and you smoked for a long time, or you do now, get that CAT scan. That CAT scan will detect a little itty bitty dot on your lung, which is the cancer that you are going to get down the road. And if they can detect it, they can probably save your life right now. So you're getting a whole bunch of medical advice here, and we are almost there at 41 out of 41. This is one of the fastest updates I have ever seen. And after it does this, then it goes and wants you to put in the password again, so I'll shut the thing down. I'll tell you how much battery power it used, how long the whole thing took. Again, leave the thumbs up or subscribe or a like if you want. There we go. Time to shut this off. Okay, here we go. It is finished. What do we have here? Tripod doesn't want to work. Yep. So since the tripod doesn't want to work, we're at 941. We started at 921, 3141. We got 924. 34, 34, 44. So we didn't even take uh, 20 minutes. 74%. Use 10% of the battery, normally it cranks out at like 20% or something, 20 or 30%. Let me touch the back and see if it got hot. Yeah, it definitely got warm. Not hot, hot, it's just mildly warm. But it's also sitting on the floor with a case also, holding all that heat in. So that is my review of the BlackBerry November update. Now I'm going to go to the settings in a minute. There we go. I'm on the settings. I'm going to go to About Phone, and let's find out what happened here. Android Security Patch Level, November 6th, and this is, I believe, the 11th, I said. Yeah. So, 6.0.1, that means it is Marshmallow. There's the model. I bought this directly from BlackBerry with their discount. So, I seem to be getting updates long, long before a lot of people that are buying it from AT&T or Verizon. I hear Verizon does not update too well. Down at the very bottom, there we have the build. Zoom in for you, so you can see it. AAH, Adam Adam Henry 505, and that concludes my BlackBerry pre-November OS security update video.